Hello, Bethlehem community. Wherever you are this summer and whatever you find yourself doing, I hope that you are taking the time that you need to recharge and to grow your relationships with your family, with your community, and yes, even with God. It's been a few months since we last checked in with everyone, and both Pastor Stephanie and I want to take just a few minutes to update you about the life, mission, and opportunities here at Bethlehem as we reach midsummer and look forward to the fall. Stephanie, it's been about, what, a month and a half since you began, and I am so excited that you are here with us. Thanks, Chad. I am happy to be here as well. My family's doing well, and we are adjusting to life in St. Cloud. It's a little bit of a change being going from a town of 700 to St. Cloud, but hey, this has been great, and it's also been nice to begin to meet people. I look forward to meeting more of you and learning your stories. I'm also excited about our ministry of worship and how we engage with one another in the larger community, both in person and online, as we live out our mission of following in the way of Jesus. Beginning in August, our online worship service will change slightly. First, our online service will be premiering on Saturday at 5 p.m. This change will allow those who are used to worshiping on Saturday the ability to do so and offers everyone a little more flexibility for weekend worship. Of course, you'll be able to access this online service on demand at any day at any time throughout the week. Second, the format of the service will change slightly. We will not simply be duplicating our in-person worship services, but working to develop a unique service specifically geared towards an online community, which will focus more on creative and engaging storytelling that we cannot do as well when we're in person. And finally, please note that if you've been receiving communion through our online service, that will be coming to an end in July. Offering online communion was a creative option that was implemented because of COVID. We want everyone to have communion, and if you are not able to commune in person, then we are happy to arrange a visit for communion at home or in a care facility. Simply give the church office a call to schedule a visit. As we look forward to worshiping together this fall, we will have three in-person worship options. Sunday at 8.30 and 10.30 a.m., and then Wednesday at 6.30. Our online worship option will continue to premiere at Saturday at 5 p.m. and be available on demand anytime afterwards. Thanks for the update on worship. A lot of mm-hmm. good stuff coming up. Yes. Another way, though, that we live out our mission of following in the way of Jesus is to be intentional about developing a deeper, robust faith life that addresses the needs of our lives and the world. Families with preschool children, it is not yet too late to sign up for Vacation Bible School. And families with elementary age children, you can still sign up for day camp being run this year by Green Lake Lutheran Ministries. Both events will run August 9th through the 12th. We are actively recruiting middle and high school youth as well as adults who would like to serve in these ministries. Also, elementary school and middle school families can now register for fall faith formation. After last year, when we pivoted all of our faith formation to a creative online family-centered format, this fall we are planning to resume a primarily in-person model while continuing to have some online content like Matt and Chad's Adventures. Season 3 is coming. I would highly encourage families to sign up soon to get those important dates on your family calendars. We're also welcoming back a number of adult faith formation opportunities this fall, which includes Bible studies, adult forums, community speakers, friendship lunches, social activities, and small group ministries. A A full schedule will be going out later this summer. We are also working to redevelop many of our community partnerships and outreach ministries that we had to put on hold during COVID, even as we became creative in the ways that we reached out to our community. Again, these service ministries will begin to roll out later this summer. Finally, as we move 
forward into the fall, all of our ministry and the many ways that we live out our mission of following in the way of Jesus will be developed through the lens of our theme for this coming year, which is resonance. How does the story of our faith resonate with you? How does the love of God transform the way that you see yourself, others, and the world? I am so excited that others in this congregation will be sharing their stories of how they have experienced the presence of God and how the story of our faith has resonated with them in their lives. Having faith and belief in a God who is actively involved in our world and in our life is not a given, and it's certainly not easy today at all. I mean, that's an honest statement. But together, over the course of this year, we will learn and grow as we hear different stories from different people in different ministries who all have encountered a moment of resonance with our God, the God of infinite possibilities. As always, thank you for your generosity and for your ministry that makes this community and its ministry possible. Have a wonderful summer. God bless.